Time to get you caught up on what's going on weather-wise from your Weather First Forecast Center. And, you know, basically, we started out Sunday with some areas of fog, and then the skies brightened a bit. Peggy sent this in with our Facebook group, our Weather Watcher group. You know, we'd love to see your photos, too. This is what it looked like this evening. We had, you know, a decent amount of sunshine around St. Louis, and then very late this evening from the south, we saw those low clouds roll back into the St. Louis area. If you were farther south of St. Louis today, you did not see much in the way of sunshine. It wasn't near as nice. Here come those low clouds right on in, moving in from the south and southeast and across the metro area now. And now at this point, the arch is nearly shrouded in that cloud cover. The base of the clouds almost at the top of the arch. Visibilities are a little lower as you head down into southeast Missouri and southern Illinois. 65 was our high temperature on this first day of the new year. The low this morning, only 43. That low of 43 is actually above our average high temperature for this time of year at 41 degrees. But this, of course, is January. Before we get too far along, let's look back and wrap up last month in St. Louis. December ends up about a half a degree, technically 0.6 degrees below average. Statistically, eh, that's a wash, no big deal. But boy, when we did get cold here, the 22nd and 23rd, the days leading up to Christmas. That's when we had our coldest temperatures, six degrees below zero in St. Louis. You know, some winters we don't even go below zero. That's also when we had a couple of inches of snow. We're close to it, 14 hundredths of liquid equivalent. And for the month, we ended up with about a half inch less liquid than we average see over the last 30 years. And for the month, the snowfall total was just 2.1 inches, but boy, did it come with that cold Arctic air that surged in here? You know what we're looking at here for the next couple of weeks? You can't, you look at this and you know it's not going to stay this warm for sure. We know that, but we don't really see that Arctic air making a surge towards us in the next two or three weeks based on everything we're seeing right now. Low clouds, fog, we're still in the 50s in St. Louis. The air is moist and it's going to stay that way. The focus for active weather right now is still to our north and to our west. You know, we had a really rough weekend here out in California. A lot of flooding, very intense and heavy snow in the high elevations, which is great for the ski resorts. But now that's pushing through the Rockies and eventually this system pulls out with all of its energy into the plains, starts getting some moisture from the Gulf of Mexico. And that means there will be some weather problems across the middle part of the country. They'll be spreading out of the Rockies first. That front south of St. Louis right now, we're still mild. You have to travel a bit. Farther to the north, you find the colder air where it's cold enough to get that wintry precipitation. But the way this is set up, there will be winter weather problems here to our north and to our west. Denver just has a winter weather advisory. So if your Monday travels take you westbound on 70, or maybe you're heading up 35 going up here through Iowa, trying to get up towards Minneapolis, we do have winter storm warnings for parts of Kansas and then stretching back into Nebraska. It's really mostly in Nebraska and up into South Dakota. And then this lighter shade here north of Omaha and north and northwest of Des Moines, between Des Moines, if you will, and up towards Minneapolis. That's an area where there's an ice storm warning. So definitely winter weather travel concerns. And then on the flip side of the system, as we head into Monday afternoon and Monday evening, the potential is there for some strong to severe thunderstorms, mainly off to the south of St. Louis, most likely area Arkansas down into northwest Louisiana, southeastern portions of Oklahoma, eastern portions or northeastern portions of Texas. But we may get one or two stronger storms to the west and southwest of St. Louis as we head through the evening hours on Monday. It is a level one risk out of five. You get down into the level two risk as you get down towards the boot heel and right across the Missouri Arkansas border. So on the broader perspective, this is how things are expected to evolve. Our storm system will be strengthening as it comes across the plains. Moisture is going to be on the increase here ahead of this system. When the warm front lifts north, our temperatures actually will go into the 60s tomorrow evening in St. Louis. And odds are we stay around 60 even into early Tuesday morning. Now, we've got one wave of thunderstorms out to our west, another potentially some stronger storms coming out of Arkansas through the Boot Heel into southern Missouri. 
that may skim by the St. Louis area. That's the first wave that scoots by. The second wave kind of slides by to our north and west, and then you see more intense thunderstorms here as you go into the very early hours on Tuesday down across portions of western Tennessee, western portions of Kentucky. Eventually, the colder air is going to get here. It doesn't really come behind the first front. It's that second front later in the day and into Tuesday night that really sets us up for the colder weather arriving. Now, most of the day on Monday, upper 50s, maybe low 60s and get farther south with that warm front lifting north. We might see mid 60s. Don't think we're going to see much in the way of sunshine around here on Monday. There may be patches of drizzle or a few light scattered showers, but any substantial rain should wait until 7, 8, 9 o'clock, and then we'll have our areas of showers and thunderstorms lifting to the north and northeast. Could some of these have downpours? You better believe it. Some of them also may have some gusty winds, maybe even some hail, although really the op opportunity for severe weather looks very limited here as we had through the overnight hours Monday night into Tuesday morning. But some brief downpours. By the time we get to midnight, you're seeing most of what we think would be the strongest storms working over towards the Wabash River along the Indiana and Illinois border. We'll still have some scattered showers after midnight, but by the time we wake up Tuesday morning, the rain's scooting off. We're still close to 60 degrees, and we do think temperatures are going to be in the mid to maybe even upper 60s before that cold air has a chance to get in here, working on into your Tuesday afternoon. So the heaviest rain, more likely than not, is going to be to the south and southeast of St. Louis, where we have those better chances for thunderstorms. So an inch or two in some places there, maybe even a little bit more than that in a few spots. You get into the metro area north and west, we'll say up to an inch, probably have a hard time getting much more than an inch of rain north and west of St. Louis. Now, as we head through Tuesday, the winds are going to pick up too. This is after the rain is gone. We'll have wind gusts maybe 30 to 35 miles per hour Thursday or Tuesday afternoon. And then by Tuesday evening, the strongest winds start to move away as this whole system lifts on out of the picture. Now, there is another disturbance that comes in Wednesday into Thursday, brings some clouds, and at that point, we're back to feeling more like January and winter in St. Louis. Over the weekend, another little disturbance slips through on Saturday, maybe a little rain there, and then we get into next week, and you'll notice temperatures in the upper 40s, close to 50, still above average. There will be some disturbances in here, uh, the timing on them for next week, Monday, Tuesday into Wednesday, that's still questionable. So we'll just go with a low chance for what we would think would be mainly rain at that point. But we do have our orange shading here for your weather alert day on Monday. It's mainly for the evening hours. That's when the potential for our shower and thunderstorm activity would peak. And again, maybe a couple of stronger storms, especially south and southwest of St. Louis. It's not a widespread severe weather threat. And the heavier rain that we see is most likely after any rush hour. And quite honestly, Monday, I believe, is a holiday for a lot of people, even though it's January 2nd. That would be the observed New Year's Day holiday for a lot of folks. So, you know, traffic's probably not going to be that bad. Mid 60s Monday during the evening for the high, and mid 60s on Tuesday. Then it's colder, but not brutally so as we head through the rest of the week. And even in the next week, that, those numbers, upper 40s, around 50, those are above average temperatures.